As opposed to other construction methods, metal buildings are not a cookie cutter solution. Each individual building is designed according to the intended use with plans wet stamped by an engineer who personally evaluated the project's unique local climate conditions. Let's take a tour through the four primary regions of the United States to see what regional factors are accounted for. Along the West Coast, earthquakes as strong as 7.9 on the Richter scale have been felt in California, and wildfires are becoming increasingly common. Similar to many high-rise structures, low-rise steel buildings are engineered to endure seismic activity. Not to mention, steel is non-combustible with an extremely high melting temperature. This means a steel building's chance of withstanding a wildfire is higher than any other type of structure in the area. The Midwest is prone to strong storms, wind, and even tornadoes. We've all seen pictures on the news of wooden pole buildings that were destroyed by these common weather events. By contrast, steel buildings resist and deflect heavy winds. Tornadoes are certainly a threat to any structure, but our customers have reported their buildings surviving a twister with only minor damage to the sheeting. Hurricanes are common in the southeast. In fact, there are more billion-dollar weather disasters and higher wind speeds in this region than any other area of the country. Johnny Steel Garage in North Carolina has survived two hurricanes back-to-back, -back, Hurricane Arthur and Tropical Storm Anna, with wind gusts of up to 101 miles per hour. And this indoor football field at the University of Central Florida was built shortly after Hurricane Charlie in Orlando. UCF wasn't willing to compromise on the quality of their structure after seeing what a hurricane is capable of. The Northeast is known for its annual heavy snowfall. During the 2018-2019 winter season, the region averaged 26.9 degrees Fahrenheit and had an average of 50 inches of snow. New York alone had 123.8 inches, while Maine, New Hampshire, and West Virginia had about 60 inches each. Not all buildings are built to handle that kind of snow load, but steel buildings in those areas are engineered with those heavy snowfalls in mind. Now, let's take an in-depth look at the framing throughout a pre-engineered building. 